Jacob Woods keeping an eye on the tropics for us. Jacob. Yeah, good evening, Carly. Fairly quiet evening out there. That will continue into our Tuesday for the majority of us as well. One very small shower here just in southwest Tuscaloosa County. Otherwise, many of us dealing with more sun than clouds on this Monday evening and also dealing with the heat. Temperatures in the lower 90s to upper 80s across central Alabama and continuing to stay warm this evening. 83 by 7 o'clock falling slowly here into the lower to middle 70s overnight. So it will be a bit on the muggy and warm side as we start our Tuesday. Still can't rule out a very isolated shower this evening heading into the overnight hours. Again, most of us are going to stay dry as we just see some passing clouds. Mostly clear waking up tomorrow. Clouds begin to build back in going into tomorrow afternoon and evening as this cold front begins to approach from our west. And notice how a lot of this moisture begins to channel just ahead of the cold front coming out of Mississippi into portions of western Alabama. They will be the first to see the rain tomorrow afternoon and this will gradually try to work its way towards the east throughout our Tuesday night going into our Wednesday and then Wednesday afternoon. Much of us, most of central Alabama getting a pretty good increase in moisture and quite a bit of rainfall going into the afternoon and evening hours. That's why the Weather Prediction Center here has outlined much of the area and a slight risk for flash flooding. This is for Wednesday. This also carries into Thursday, but including more of the central Alabama as we see the remnants of what will become Hurricane Helene start to head our way. So let's go ahead and take a look at where that center of circulation is located at right now. It is in the Caribbean with winds around 35 miles per hour, just short of being a depression here or just shy of a depression, I should say. It is forecast to earn the name Helene either this evening or going into the overnight hours. And as soon as Thursday morning, we're going to see it become a category two hurricane, strengthening into a category three major hurricane here, making landfall in the Florida panhandle. And then it will quickly weaken as it moves inland, becoming a tropical depression here again as it moves just to our east. But again, this is the cone of uncertainty. So that center of circulation could be a little bit to the east of the cone, or it could be a little bit further here to the west. Depending on exactly where the center of that circulation chooses to go is going to be a major dictator in exactly what kind of impacts we can expect here. But right now playing it safe, and we do think that around most, most of central Alabama gets around one to three inches of rain, potentially as much as four or even more inches of rain, and then around 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gust going to be a concern going into our Thursday night and Friday. So Futurecast shows that it will be moving here in between Cuba and the Yucatan close to Canada. Cancun as we go into Wednesday morning and then it quickly rapidly will develop into a hurricane as we go into Thursday morning, continuing to push off into the Big Bend region here, making landfall sometime on Thursday evening. This particular model taking the brunt of the impacts over into the Atlanta metro points eastward from there into North Georgia. If this is the case, we'll see most of the impacts here in our eastern counties, but if it moves a little bit further towards the west, we could be seeing more in the way of rain and wind for most of central Alabama. So staying quiet for tomorrow, can't rule out an isolated shower. Weather aware Wednesday, Thursday and Friday temperatures could cooler there in the lower to middle 70s and then starting to dry out by the upcoming weekend with temperatures back here in the mid 80s. We're going to send things over to Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum. He is live in Chelsea at the Walmart there for the Bundles of Hope. Dave, tell us about what's